tall, blonde, uh, like supermodel hot. Her name's Bambi. The crime story that captured Milwaukee's attention years ago has come to life once again. Lorencia Bambenic was a police officer turned playboy bunny, turned convicted murderer, turned fugitive. And now she's the subject of a true crime podcast that's gaining popularity. CBS 58's Victor Jacobo has more from the podcast hosts and one of the sources for the program. Victor. That's right, Jessup and Natalie. The story of Lorencia Bambenic and the murder of Christine Schultz is the focus of the podcast Run Bambi Run, now climbing into the top 10 of Apple Podcasts. The show is sparking renewed interest for those who remember it, as well as introducing the story to a new generation. Lorencia Bambenic joined the Milwaukee Police Department in 1980, but was quickly fired. She then fought to hold MPD accountable for what she says was gender discrimination. She was also known for being extraordinarily attractive, which helped her land a brief job as a Playboy bunny in Lake Geneva. She got painted as a femme fatale. Whether she was, or if she was a dyed-in-wool feminist um, who wanted to be a cop and equal to men is one of the questions of the podcast. Ben Benick, given the nickname Bambi while at MPD, was then charged and convicted in the death of Christine Schultz, the ex-wife of Ben Benick's then-husband, Fred Schultz, in 1981. Ben Benick's access to the murder weapon, Fred Schultz's gun, made her a prime suspect. Ben Benick eventually went to prison, escaped to Canada, was returned to the U.S., and pleaded guilty to second-degree murder. There's still a question of whether she was the villain in this drama or if she was the victim. I got this email and they said, we want to talk to you about Lorenzo Ben Benick, and I thought, Really? You know, after all these years. Georgia Pabst was a reporter at what was then the Milwaukee Journal during the Bambanic saga. Went to her house. She said, oh, come in. I just got back from, I spent the night in jail. And so we sat down and she said, um, I didn't do it. Pabst says it's not surprising to see this story reemerge decades later. It has all those questions that people love about a mystery. The podcast doesn't solve the mystery. It just raises a lot of questions. Now, Lorenzo Bambenic died in 2010, always maintaining her innocence. The first three episodes of Run, Bambi, Run are out now. There will be a total of eight episodes for this series. In studio, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58 News.